Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, T. Y'all know who I am. We are cooking. We're finally making chicken tacos. We're gonna make some vegetarian tacos as well. And we are going to be making the strawberry margarita, the strawberry champagne margarita, and then just a strawberry mocktail. Um, we're gonna start calling Wednesdays cooking with cocktails because we're gonna make a cocktail and we're gonna cook on Wednesdays unless something else comes up that, you know, needs my attention so i'm just gonna go ahead and pour ice in these glasses right now because one is gonna be for the um margarita and one is gonna be for the mocktail all right so you're gonna need a glass and something to stir you're gonna need some strawberries i hope that this is zoomed in good enough and i hope i'm not yelling because this is my first time recording on the camera at home so we're going to cut the ends off of these strawberries and we're going to muddle them. Um, then we're going to, we need to cut these limes because we're going to need uh, some lime juice. Should we just put the strawberries in there now? Yeah, we might as well. Uh, we're going to get some lime juice going. It's going to be kind of fresh. Um, and I'm going to see if I can split and I got my recipe over to my left. Um, let me see if I can split it somehow. Yeah, because I can do, yep, it says I can, I'm gonna muddle the strawberries and then I'm gonna add the lime juice I'm, and that way, and I'll just pour it out, I'll just separate it. So I'm gonna muddle the strawberries with the lime juice. So if you're doing this recipe, you wanna go with, the traditional recipe is, eight to ten medium-sized strawberries hauled and sliced more as garnish so as you can see i just quartered my strawberries i did not hold them because i ain't want to um <laughs> but you can um and you need two ounces of lime juice i always say fresh is best that's just me um you need two ounces of triple sec if you're making the cocktail now i am out of triple sec so i am using grand marnier pro tip no triple sec use grand marnier um so i'm adding my lime juice here and typically you'll get this lime is kind of hard i should have boiled it some but you can typically get one to one and a half ounces of lime juice out of a good size lime. These limes are kind of small, so I'm gonna squeeze both of them in here. And I like to scrape them down the side also, because when I get some of the flesh in it, it just adds a little more care. Did y'all see that? A little more character. So I hope that this is coming up really good on camera. Like, I look like I'm really far away from the camera um i don't know if i need another lens or what but we'll see and you know what now that i'm thinking about it this didn't ask for any simple syrup but i think i'm gonna add a little bit of simple syrup just just because the mocktail doesn't have um that much sweetness so and it won't harm the margarita at all if i add some um yeah that's a good amount of lemon juice okay i did good with this lim lim i mean lime juice and you can like rim your glass if you want to i don't like salt or sugar on my rims so i don't rim my glasses now i will rim them hold on one second I need my muddler. Now, I will rim them if it's for somebody else who likes, you know, sugar rim or salt rim, but I'm not that particular on a sugar or salt rim. So what I'm doing now is just muddling my strawberries and my limes, making it into a juice basically. And I'm gonna add a little bit of simple syrup I don't have any homemade but I don't know what that was maybe my neighbor fussing at his dog I don't know but that was loud um what I'm gonna do is add some we do have some store-bought simple syrup I like to 
I prefer to have my own because I can control the sugar amount. Like I know it's a basic ingredient, I mean a basic recipe, but sometimes the ones from the store, to me, they're more syrupy instead of just like a hint of sweetness. So I've muddled these berries pretty good. Now I'm gonna get some simple syrup and add to it. Towel. Oops. So this is gonna be by I. I think I wanna shake that up a little bit more. And this is the brand of simple syrup that I'm using. I don't know if you can see that. That was probably about a good one and a half ounces. And I should probably taste this just to see what I'm working with. So let me get um, a spoon and taste this. Oh, that's good because the strawberry sparkling water that I have, it's pretty good. All right, so you muddle your um, strawberries and lime juice. Now what I'm gonna do, since I'm actually splitting this, I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of the mix in here. And then I'm gonna top it with, whoo, the strawberry uh, sparkling water. I'm supposed to add mint, but I didn't even remember to go outside and get any. So there's that. All right. So there's the strawberry mocktail. Let's taste it. Oh gosh, that's so fruity. Mmm. Okay, we got a strawberry mocktail. Now we're gonna go, that is really good. Now we're gonna go in with the remaining ingredients for the cocktail. So we need two ounces of tequila. I'm gonna do one and a half ounce of tequila because Grand Marnier is stronger than triple sec to me. So I'm just gonna add, um, one and a half of each. All right, so there's the Grand Marnier. And then you stir. And then we're gonna strain it and we're gonna top it with sparkling wine. I don't have any champagne, so I'm gonna top it with sparkling wine. Got that in there. I actually want some um, of the strawberries in mine. And when you have mixes like this, you can actually put it in the freezer and use it at a later date. All right, let's put that there. Now let's open up this baby. This is um, Black Girl Magic Sparkling Wine owned by the McBride sisters. Two, three, four, five, six turns of your cage. There's the wine. All right, so no spillage. When you twist the bottle, um, it really helps to release some of that pressure and not have to worry about spillage. All right, so let's give it one more. We'll just use the muddler to stir it just a tad. And let's try this margarita. They look the same, but one has sparkling wine, one has sparkling water. Oh, that's good. What's missing what's missing some more strawberries it needs a little bit more strawberry flavor but it's good 
So I'm gonna add some of these strawberries. And then I'm gonna put the rest to the side. And I'll be back so we can start prep for our meal. So we're gonna have our cocktail while we cook. So I hope you guys are enjoying it so far for our very first cooking with cocktail. All right, so I've already rinsed all my things off, my fruits and vegetables and things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this tomato up. Um, I don't really need a lot of tomato cut. This, I'm so tired of buying stuff from the grocery store and it's just raggedy. Like, these tomatoes are not firm. I, they were firm when I bought them. They're not firm now. Or it's not firm now. Um, I'm having pico de gallo. And I'm also going to dice these tomatoes. Or this tomato. Um, because he does not eat pico. Oh, I forgot to take out my cilantro. Because I need that. So, I dice this tomato. And then after I do this... I'm going to go ahead and cut up my peppers and um, onion because I am adding that to the tacos because that's how we like it around here. Let's see. And I'm going to also do some mushrooms because I'm making mine vegetarian. I got this baby bowl and all these tomatoes like diced pieces are not going to fit in there. So, we're going to just put them in here for now. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Where's my towel? The next thing I'm going to do is um, go ahead and do my tomato, my um, peppers. And I'm using red, yellow, and orange peppers. And I'm not going to cut up a whole pepper. Y'all know I saw a thing on um, Instagram that my friend Joy sent me about the way that we cut peppers. And, like, <laughs> there's an easier way to cut them so that we don't have to deal with seeds. I still forgot to do it the way that she showed me. But I'm just going to cut a few peppers. Actually, I might end up needing this whole pepper. And I am, I'm just going to put all the peppers in this bowl because it's going to be all cooked at the same time anyway. And yeah. I wish I could have music playing. YouTube be acting like... YouTube be acting funny. So, I ain't trying to put music on and then have to edit it out and you know going through all of that so that we don't get any copyright strikes we don't want anything going against us honey we want nothing going against us so we got um some yellow pepper here and then we have red pepper coming up next we got orange in here we got yellow and now we're gonna do some red and then we're going to go in with, um, I'm going to put a little more red than any other color. Because I like red peppers because they sweet. They are very sweet to me. Now, I don't know how this one's going to be because y'all know that stuff in the store right now is kind of suspect. So, yeah. Which is why I'm so excited that it is time for gardening. Because I grow this stuff. And it tastes so much better when you grow it at home. Like so much better. So much sweeter. And your pepper pieces can be, if you want them uniform, you can have them uniform. If you don't want them uniform, like I don't care. <laughs> they do not have to be uniform, honey. They do not have to be uniform. Because they can all cook down anyway. Alright, y'all give me a second. I'm going to clean up my mess here and come right back because I didn't bring a catch-all bowl. And I like to have a catch-all bowl. Let's sip our little cocktail. Mm. Do we have a hole in our lip? Oh my. Alright, so I've already started cutting my onion. And I put the tomatoes in a larger bowl. I've already drained my chickpeas. I thought I had some um, 
red beans and some black beans in the cabinet, but I don't. So we're just going to go with the um, chickpeas. I mean, they're a great source of protein, so I'm, I'm fine with not having the black beans. But if you want to always go back and add black beans, red beans, any kind of pinto beans, you can go back and add like you know as you fix your tacos now <clears throat> y'all saw me just butcher this onion right no rhyme no reason because i'm getting ready to cook them anyway i'm gonna cook them down with the peppers and onions and i mean with the peppers so i'm just chopping them don't care how thick the onion is because we like onions anyway so um, and I don't like my onions too thin because I don't want to lose the, um, like I don't want them too thin because I don't want them to be like skinned, you know. I want the onions to have a nice texture and I want to be able to still taste the uh, flavor of the onion. So I just did a rough chop of the onions, put them in a bowl because all this is going to go in a pan together and cook. And then we're just going to separate some of it for the, um, actually we're not separating it at all. It's all going to go in one bowl and when we fix our tacos, we'll just, you know, scoop it out, scoop out what we want, the amount of filling that we want. And I'll put that in there. Leftover onion for another dish. Now let's cut this avocado. Oh, there's a piece of onion still on the knife. Hmm. All right, let's get this avocado cut up. I hope it still is some good. I tried that water trick where you sit your avocado in a glass of water. It's been in there for two weeks. Oh my God, it works. I left this in water. I have a whole, I'm gonna show y'all what they look like. Oh, I got fruit on top of fruit. Let's cut up for juicing. So I set a whole bag of avocados in this water. They are hideous in the water, but I just cut it open and look, still green. Okay, it works. That is exciting. All right, this is a little baby seed though. Look how small that seed is. Let's throw that away. I tried to grow avocado and child. When I tell you, it did not work for me. It didn't. I was not successful at all. And since this avocado is so small, I could just use this little small spoon. Scoop it out. Scoop that out. And I'm just gonna cut this avocado, cause he's not gonna eat avocado. I like avocado so I'm gonna put this in a bowl and I am gonna squeeze some lemon juice on it because it'll help it to stay green longer and it still tastes good it's not mushy I mean other than you know the typical mush from an avocado but it's actually really good We're gonna put it in here. Let's see. That bowl's too big. I should have cut another avocado up. Let's that the avocado look at that i should have used a different bowl now that the avocado is cut up now let's do the oh you know what i could put my mushrooms no i can't put them in there because and i don't want my mushrooms to be too small oh, can y'all see um i don't want my mushrooms to be too small because this is my meat got to have another container in here got to got to got to Alright, so the mushrooms are now cut up, all ready for my 
vegetarian. Tacos. I cleaned up a little bit of the mess while I was, you know, doing preparing. So I took out some cilantro leaves. I already cut the spinach up and I moved that over to the like little station where we're gonna do our um, fix our tacos. My battery is dying, so I'm trying to hurry up and get through this because I still have to cook and y'all still got to see the cooking part. All right, so let's go ahead and dice this chicken up real good. I'm gonna cut that fat off. I don't want that fat up there when I cook it. Mm -mm. All right. And then we're just gonna cut it into some strips and then we're gonna dice it into some pieces. Then we're gonna move over to the stove so that we can cook it all up and have um, some nice tacos and I got some um, carb control tortillas because I'm trying to get high school skinny okay all right so that is done and I'm gonna season it in the pan all right so my pan is on um, let me turn it down let me get some oil I'm gonna use avocado oil and I'm gonna cook the chicken in here. And I'm gonna cook all the mixed vegetables in here and I'm gonna cook the chicken in here. All right, so I'm just gonna take my mixed vegetables. This pan is already warm. And I'm just gonna put the vegetables in there and I'm gonna season them. It will help if I had a utensil to cook with, right? Okay, so we have our vegetables in here, and then in here we're just gonna put the chicken. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chicken, dump it in, and we're gonna season it. Turn this heat down some. And we're going in with some garlic powder. Everything I put over there, I'm putting over here. And the vegetables, if you notice, I'm putting extra seasoning on them because to me, vegetables need a little bit more. We got onion powder. We got some smoked paprika. We got some cumin. And we have some adobo. and some chili powder. And then we're just gonna stir everything up. So I'm gonna put um, cubes of spinach for the toppings and my avocado, y'all already saw that. The vegetables, I added to the vegetables because I don't think the camera was on, but to the vegetables and the chicken, we have garlic powder, onion powder. Y'all know I use that for everything. Smoked paprika, cumin, adobo, and some chili powder. And I was like saying, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why, because it's not like I haven't cooked for y'all before, but I think it's because I'm now, I'm like intentionally cooking. That is, you know, got a girl a little nervous. So, I'm having fun though. It's fun. Um, let me get a little sip of my cocktail. All That's good. That is really good. Um, if you like a sweeter cocktail, I would say make sure you add um, some simple syrup to it. Definitely add some simple syrup. So the chicken is cooking nicely. Chicken. And the peppers. 
and onions look really good matter of fact i'm about to take them out and pour them in a bowl i'm gonna put the chicken in a bowl yep and i'm gonna add my um I'm gonna let the chicken go just a little while longer because you know chicken you don't want to be you got to be kind of careful with chicken but I'm gonna go ahead and add the peppers and onions here and I'm gonna now add some of my chickpeas and my mushrooms all of my mushrooms And then I'm going to add all of the mushrooms and just some of the chickpeas. Y'all know you can roast chickpeas in the um, air fryer and like put um, tahini and stuff on them to make them like um, a snack, a crunchy snack. I thought that was pretty cool when I saw that. So everything that I just did to the peppers and onions, I'm doing it to the mushrooms and the, um, this is not salt, this is onion powder and garlic pepper i mean garlic powder oh garlic pepper would have been good though hmm i might have just did something next time i might do that and i like a little extra chili powder on mine because i like a little bit more heat than he does and a little bit of cumin let's stir these up I need a little bit of oil in here just a smidge of oil because all the oil is cooked out with the um, peppers and the chicken is now ready to come off the eye so his chicken is done and now I'm just fixing my filling <laughs> and after this I'm going to rinse this pan and I'm going to heat a um, taco shell and fix the taco so that y'all can see the finished product and um again i hope you are enjoying this cooking with cocktails why well, i feel like i got a hole in my lip i have these carb control tortillas i'm just gonna heat up one um just to see you know how hungry i am I'm doing this and I'm gonna assemble it right here for y'all so that you can see how I like my tacos. And then I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna bid you adieu because we'll be together again tomorrow. And tomorrow, well, yeah, it's sheet pan. We're doing that sheet pan meal where you are able to um, do meal prep basically it's going to help you so that you won't have to cook every single day after this like the recipe is going to make enough for you to be able to um have food for lunch or dinner or whatever all right so my tortilla is in the pan and i'm gonna flip it one more time i wanted to get nice and warm because i'm gonna start layering my stuff in here now so this is the chickpeas and the mushrooms. I should taste it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mmm. Okay. Chickpeas and mushrooms. I'm creating a major mess. Now, I do like pico de gallo. So I'm going to add my pico in here. And why am I doing it in this pan? I don't even know probably not the smartest thing so we're gonna go ahead and slide that on out gee whiz that's hot we're gonna move that out the way so y'all can see let's see if i can zoom in some it's kind of cutting my head off but i have my pico up here i have my um that's hot good lord i have my salsa i'm putting a few cilantro leaves avocado because i like avocado we're gonna go in with some rinse this spoon and get some peppers and onions Ooh 
Hey, let's taste that. Just like I like it. Texture, you can taste the sweetness from the onion, the sweetness from the pepper. And we're just gonna get a few lettuce, I mean, a few um, spinach leaves. And then we're gonna add some cheese. I normally try to do like a vegan cheese, but I kind of wanted real, real cheese today. Not, I'm not vegan. I just like vegan cheese and it doesn't cramp my stomach, which is so very important. All right, so here we go. And I made this very, very big, way too big. <laughs> oh Lord. Let's see if we can stick it in the pan to get a little bit of heat on it. So we see, see if we can melt some of this cheese to close the shell up. I'm almost at the place where I'd have made a wrap. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Can we do this? Can we do this? All right, we flipping. We're going to close it on up. Hopefully. Spinach fell out. I feel like it's warming up. I didn't taste the pico. I already know what it tastes like. And I'm the only one that eats it. It's really fresh this time. Last time, it was horrible. Let's see. Oh, some of my peppers and onions fell out. It didn't melt all the way. This is a mess. But anyway. Y'all get the idea. I'm going to roll this baby up and have my dinner. There's my vegetarian sort of kind of like a taco. Let's taste it and see. And I hope I do not make this a huge mess on this here camera. Mmm. That's good. Listen, I hope y'all make your chicken taco or your vegetarian taco wrap, fajita, whatever you want to call it. Because this right here, it's really good. So I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish my champagne margarita, champ, strawberry champagne margarita. That's what it's called. And I'll see y'all for cheap pan meals mm-hmm bid you adieu love peace and blessings